Hey buddies, what's up? Welcome to a new video on my channel and today we're gonna do the rear differential of our drift car, the Audi TT LS swapped. Uh, so we got the CD09 transmission in the front already. As you can see right here the differential is already in here because uh, it was a huge process but we're going through all the steps now. So uh, to have a good gear ratio I figured it's the best thing if I also use the rear differential of this car. So this is actually a, a rear differential out of a G37, I think, the Infinity. But it's basically the same like the uh, 370Z. So um, what I did here is I... So this one is pretty much leveled. So the drive shaft is coming straight from the uh, uh, transmission. On the differential, so that's why the differential sits far to the right side because it's lining up. It also points slightly upwards to there, so we don't have much flex on the joints. Like you see right here, it's uh, barely moving, pretty much straight. Um, what we also did is so here was like the original brace right here from the cross member because the Quattro had already rear differential in here, but um, I cut that out, made that brace under here. Uh, I welded big plates in here, you see this and this, so this is pretty beefy <coughs> and um, screwed the differential on there basically and you have to think, I cut your video in here when I was processing it and I didn't build a tunnel and nothing and I uh, welded it in loosely We're working on the differential right now, I make some brackets here, I left that longer because I want to also get a support from here and uh, yeah, I had to cut all out the original part what goes underneath here so um, I'm gonna re-weld a piece in here again to get the stability back but uh, yeah that's basically what it looks like we're gonna have to um, get the position right now before we weld it in in the back I left the original brace from the old transmission and then um, I yeah, drilled a hole through the back plate and got it on here like that. Yeah, and we have the bushings, the original bushings still here. So for the back that's pretty good I guess. I got a cord in here going straight through the transmission. Kinda middled it out a little bit lower. So we have to see where we have to make some room for the drive shaft. I'm, I'm probably... Um, Probably gonna weld braces in here, close that, and then I cut the upper part and reform it. Yeah, but first we're gonna make some braces for here. I welded it in completely in the position, and actually the drive shaft from the engine down here or from the transmission down here fit perfectly in there. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. I expected to get a, a custom drive shaft, but. It's pretty much uh, good. It slides out of the transmission about half an inch, or just perfectly. So we have a little bit of room there. Um, but yeah, so that's the original uh, drive shaft basically. Yeah, a lot of Chinese symbols on here I see right now. But anyways, uh, well, it's from a Nissan at the end of the day, right? And it's out of uh, carbon fiber. So, so that's for that. So yeah, there's this. All right, let's let's take a look at the back of it because uh, I broke something yeah. on this side. So this is uh, the original Audi TT drive uh, CV axles. On this side, I cut threads in there, so um, the the original Audi drive shaft bolts straight into that flange. And uh, on this side, it was not that easy. I hope you can see it. On this side, I got me a, uh, on this side I got me the drive shaft of a, a 370Z. I took the the outer part of what bolts on here, and I actually had a big plate, quarter inch thick made for here, welded on here, on the the flange basically from the 370Z drive shaft, and uh, cut threads in there and bolted my original Audi drive shaft to this. So, well, both sides basically, this one has an adapter, that's what I call it, it's an adapter. And the adapter works fine, 
I hope. But yeah, so um, then here at the top, you see that brace, what I made? Uh, there's a actually version 2.0 because version 1.0 and version 1.0 just shattered into pieces. Yeah, I took it, I put a picture in here how it looked like. I think I took a picture. Uh, but yeah, that shattered. So I welded that in here. That still needs to be welded a little bit more here to get more stability in there. But for right now, uh, I think it's good to go. For further testing, of course. But um, yeah, so this plate is in here. It's, everything is pretty sturdy. But um, yeah, that's it. So that's uh, the rear end. Should be solid enough for what I'm planning on doing. So, um, well, we're going to do a test drive and then we're going to see us next time.